Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here. Thanks for tuning into this video blog. In this video, I want to talk about three things. One, I'm going to talk about web hosting, handling web hosting for your clients. Two, I want to talk about equipment that you need as a web designer, what equipment you need to get started in web design. And the third one, I want to talk about just some tips on getting started. Once you're uh, interested in web design, what are some things you get started right away and uh, um, get your feet wet? Now the first one, web hosting. I recently got an email from someone asking me about this and I get this email quite often, how to handle web hosting for clients. This particular person had an issue where they were hosting their client websites on one account on different, you know, different subdomains and, and redirecting the URLs to these accounts and the entire web hosting company went under, went bust. And uh, now all of the client websites are, are down. Now, this is a bad issue for that very reason. I personally never handle all my um, client accounts on one account, and in, in addition, I never actually uh, personally uh, manage hosting accounts. What I like to do is when I when I work with a client, let's say I'm I'm dealing with a client, I'll refer them to a web hosting company that I use, which is LunarPages.com. I'll I'll put a link down in the description box so you can see. Lunarpages.com is a site that I've been, or a hosting company that I've been using for years. You can use whichever hosting company you you know you, you're comfortable with. Once you get a good um, a good relationship with a web hosting company, you know how to handle the control panel. You know all the ins and outs of that web hosting company. What I like to do is then refer them to this site. I might even sometimes I'll tell them if they use my link, my affiliate link, I'll get you know commission for referring them. If they don't want to go with that company, you know, it's up to them. If they do, fine. What I'll do is I'll have them, I'll have the company or the client sign up for the hosting account with their credit card, not my credit card, and um, with their main email address and all that stuff. And then once they're done, I'll have them send me the login details and that I'll use that to manage their website. What I'll do is I'll use the login details to upload their website. Once the website's done and my job as a designer is complete, I let the client handle all the billing issues when it comes to web hosting as well as you know domain names. So I don't like to I like to keep that separate. You know, design services is one thing, web hosting is another thing. That's on them. Because the the money you can make is, is from from trying to to handle all the hosting you know costs and all that stuff and services is really small and uh, it's just a big headache. So because I like to keep it separate so that if the client wants to shut down the business after I'm done, I don't care. And so what I like to do is just keep the de design and the hosting separate. And if you if you notice on my, my website, mlwebco.com or my portfolio, that's why I just post photos of my portfolio shots. I don't give them, I don't take them to the live, live website because quite often uh, when I, after a, a site is done, you know, the, the client can do whatever they want with it. They can shut down the company if they want. They can move and have different people work on the website. So it's all up to them. So for web hosting, I recommend never hosting, never handling handling it yourself. Uh, it's just a big headache. And uh, always refer or help the client sign up for the account and then have them give you the login details so that you can manage the website, okay? So that's for web hosting. The second one, what equipment do you need? I got this um, email or this comment recently, and this is a good one. What equipment do you need when you're getting uh, started in web design? Personally, um, you just need the bare minimum, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, any desktop, I prefer, if you, if you can get a desktop PC or, or Mac computer, I would say go with a desktop because it's just, um, um, you can do much more with it. It doesn't get hot in terms of like a laptop. I have, right now, currently I have, you know, uh, um, um, iMac, and I have a, also a MacBook Pro uh, uh, laptop. But prior to that, I was using like um, I think for a big portion of my portfolio, for like the last you know ten years, I was on a PC using <laughs> the cheapest PC you can find. Nobody knew that I was on a cheap PC. If it if it if it turned on and it, uh, you know Adobe Fireworks opened up, uh, that was good enough for me. So. It doesn't matter what type of computer you have, as long as you can, you know, um, 
it's you can run you can upload the Adobe suite on there and, and run one product at a time I know I had a cheap computer once where um, I couldn't even open Photoshop or Adobe Fireworks or Illustrator um, all, all at once I had to close one down and open the other one so again it doesn't matter what computer you use if you have if your budget is 400 bucks go out there and get a cheap PC and that would probably last you a year and a half two years I always say that laptops cheap laptops around like you know four to five six hundred bucks are gonna is gonna last you two years so after two years they start to you know heat up and overheat and all the things inside starts to to go out on you but um so that's why I say go to desktop it'll probably last you longer but okay so for as far as equipment goes uh, computer goes it doesn't matter what you have it doesn't matter at all um, for for graphic design stuff um, I personally choose Adobe Fireworks if you can if you can uh, get a copy of Adobe Fireworks go with that and uh, I'm coming out with a training course on Adobe Fireworks that's going to give you more details on how to use that inside and out um, obviously if you can get the Adobe suite um, that's pretty good uh, which includes Adobe Fireworks Photoshop Illustrator Dreamweaver flash okay so those are some of the bare minimums that I would recommend um, in terms of uh, HTML coding um, you can go out there and get any free HTML editor okay so you can just do a Google search for free HTML editors and uh, any of those out there that you can grab uh, is basically good enough for you to code a website so that's basically all you need a cheap computer um, the Adobe suite um, and and an HTML editor okay so that's the bare minimum that I think you should start out with uh, as far as equipment goes um, for the last one for getting started in web design uh, a lot of people watch my videos I have over a hundred videos now on YouTube and um, it's pretty extensive but uh, a lot of people ask me like what type you know I've seen your videos now wh what do I do how do I get started what I recommend is if you're getting started in web design what you want to do and if you dabbled around and you've done some tutorials and you have kind of started to learn the process what you want to do is give yourself set a goal uh, maybe say um, set, set a goal of designing a, a logo I mean come up with a, a, a creative name and a concept and a profile of a company and design a logo that's one idea or give yourself the goal of designing a, a simple single page or two page website you know it can be that simple you want to start small don't go too big keep it very small either a single page or a two page or maybe three page no more than three pages and just uh, come up with an, a concept of a website of maybe a company or like sometimes like what I like to do is take a picture of something like maybe take a picture of a book and pretend that you're building you're creating a site for that particular book or that particular toy and just create some some text like lorem ipsum text some fake dummy text and create a single page website um, uh, with that. that you know give yourself the goal of doing that so what I recommend is to get started don't try to build a portfolio website don't try to to go out there and get a client um, to, to, to build a, a website for what you need to do is start slow and start practicing give yourself the goal of designing a logo give yourself the goal of designing a website and um, small simple website and start from there once you do that do do you know two three or four of those and then from there then go out there and maybe uh, do a, a website for free for a friend or for a family member and then start there and then you'll, you'll start evolving and getting a little bit better each time you go alright so uh, that was a lot in one video uh, hopefully uh, you got a little bit from this each of the things that I talked about web hosting equipment and getting started and uh, thanks for watching all right if you have any questions go to my website and uh, you can click on the contact link and send me an email I have uh, my email mlock at mlwebco.com and uh, shoot me any questions you have I'll be happy to answer them if they're short and sweet I can get back to you rather quickly all right so thanks a lot we'll talk soon bye